Internet Explains channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. Given any function, its zeros are the values of function which make the function equal to zero. Actually, zero, root, and x-intercept are similar. How is it done given a rational function? First step, reduce the rational function into lowest term. Second step, change y to zero and solve for x. For example, we have g of x equals x squared minus 2 all over x plus 1. Okay, step 1 is to reduce the rational function into lowest terms. Since both the numerator and denominator are non factorable anymore, then we have to proceed to step 2. Step 2 says that we have to change y or f of x to 0, and then we have to solve for x. Hence, g of x will become 0, and then we have to solve for x. So, x squared minus 2 all over x plus 1. Now, by cross-multiplication, we know that we have 1 here. By cross-multiplication, that is 0 times x plus 1 is 0, and then 1 times x squared minus 2 is x squared minus 2. Hence, we have x squared. We may also write it this way, x squared minus 2 equals 0. Now, we have x squared equals positive 2. That's by APE. And then to get rid of the square or the, the exponent 2, we have to get the square roots of both sides. Hence, square root of x squared is x equals square root of 2 is positive negative square root of 2. Okay? Therefore, the zeros of the function g of x are positive 2. Its zeros are positive square root of 2 and negative square root of 2. Okay, next example, we have g of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 all over x plus 3. Now, recall that the first step is to reduce the rational function into lowest term. Now, look at the numerator. It's still factorable, so we still have to factor it before we proceed to step 2. So, g of x equals, let's factor out the numerator. Okay? It has two factors which are both binomials. Factors of 2x squared are 2x and x, while factors are of 3 can be 1 by 3 or 3 by 1. Okay? You'll do that by trial and error. Okay, so 1 times 3. Now, since it's negative, 3 is negative, then 1 and 3 as its factors should have different signs. So, the hint is to look at the sign of the middle term. It's positive. So, whichever is greater between them should have, should have the same sign as that of the middle term. Now, which is greater between them? The product of 1 and x is 1x. Well, the product of 2x and 3 is 6x. So, it's greater than 1x. Hence, 3 should have the same sign as that of the, of the middle term and 1 is negative. Okay? I hope you get it. Or you may review your uh, junior high math, factoring um, topic in junior high math. Next, the denominator is x plus 3. Then, we may cancel out this x plus 3. So, what's left is g of x equals, equal sign should be aligned, 2x minus 1. Okay? Then, we may now proceed to step 2. Step 2 is to change um, y or g of x to 0. So it will become 0 and then solve for the value of x or the 0. So equals 2x minus 1. Or we may also interchange them. Okay. Next, by APE we have 2x equals positive 1. And then by MPE, when you multiply both sides by 1 half or simply when you divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, then that is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So what's left is x equals 1 half. Therefore, the 0 of g of x is 1 half. 
So you have just learned everything about zeros of rational functions. Until next time.